Hey guys, it's another day of Veda, and today's video is inspired by one of you. Someone suggested I give you a must-do list for first-timers visiting the Disneyland Resort. So here it goes. This list might change if you have older people in your party or children with you, but this is just kind of like my general answer. My number one tip to first-timers is to use the FastPass system. It's free! When you first get to the park, get a fast pass immediately for one of the more popular attractions. I would suggest the following for Disneyland. Space Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Indiana Jones, and the Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion only has fast pass sometimes, usually around Halloween or just when it's really busy, so play that one by ear. And for DCA, I would get a fast pass as soon as possible for Midway Mania, California Screamin', and Radiator Springs Racers. Racers will run out immediately, so keep that in mind. Some of these attractions do have single rider lines, which means you can go in a much shorter line, but you don't get to sit with your party. These include Indiana Jones and Radiator Springs Racers, so if your party doesn't mind splitting up, you don't need to waste getting a fast pass on one of those attractions. And here are some other rides at Disneyland that I suggest you try to get on. Some of them don't have fast passes, so they're just my recommendations. For Disneyland, it's Astro Blasters, Jungle Cruise, Peter Pan, and Alice in Wonderland. And for DCA, it's the Animation Academy, Soarin' Over California, and Tower of Terror, if if you're into that thing. I'm not, but I know it's a good ride. Now let's move on to some of the shows and nighttime spectaculars that you shouldn't miss at the Disneyland Resort. DCA's main nighttime show is World of Color, and I do recommend it, but I personally do not like the varied versions of World of Color. At the time of this video, they have World of Color Celebrate, which is the Disneyland's 60th anniversary version of World of Color. Kind of refuse to see any version other than the original World of Color. They also have Winter Dreams for winter time at Disneyland. Whatever. I'm sure it's really good if you haven't seen any World of Color shows ever. So, World of Color happens usually twice a night during peak season at DCA. Over at Disneyland, Fantasmic at the time of this upload is currently not running, but it might be running when you're watching this video in the future. It is possible to see Fantasmic at Disneyland and the Paint the Night Parade at Disneyland in one day. Paint the Night, you gotta see it. Paint the Night is an incredible nighttime parade. It's mind blowing. It's my favorite thing to come to Disneyland in maybe my lifetime. So it's very possible to see the first showing of Paint the Night and the second showing of Fantasmic when that comes back because Fantasmic runs with a fast pass system. You get one early in the day and it reserves you a spot for the show. Same with World of Color. As far as fireworks go, Disneyland Forever at Disneyland is amazing. It's the current Disneyland 60th fireworks show. It's great. I recommend trying to be in the middle of Main Street to view it because they have a lot of projections that go on the facades of the stores along Main Street. It makes it a totally different experience. So yeah, mix and match as you will for those nighttime shows. Now let's talk about my favorite thing, food. For sit down, waiter comes to you, you order off a of menu type restaurants at Disneyland, I recommend Cafe Orleans or the Blue Bayou. They're both in New Orleans Square, they both have really similar atmospheres. Blue Bayou is a little more expensive. They're famous for different things. Blue Bayou is literally inside parts of the Caribbean. Cafe Orleans has the world famous Monte Cristo sandwich. So, for quick service food at Disneyland, I personally really like the Hungry Bear in Critter Country or Pizza Port in Tomorrowland. Pizza Port is pizza pasta salad, Hungry Bear or sandwiches and burgers. What I like about Hungry Bear is that there's usually no one there. It's a very quiet place to eat away from the crowds. And Pizza Port I like because I usually enjoy carbo loading for a day at Disney because I need to keep my energy up. For snacks at Disneyland, I of course recommend the churro. The churro, of course, blah, blah, blah. Churros are the great, greatest snack. Also, corn dogs. And if you didn't watch on Thingamavlogs, we did a Disneyland hacks video. Tiff explains how you could get a la carte corn dogs at the Stage Door Cafe in Frontierland for the cheapest price available in the park. Red Wagon's more expensive. Go to Stage Door Cafe for your corn dog. It's a great snack on the go. And over at DCA, my all time favorite sit down restaurant in the whole resort is Carthay Circle. The food is so good. It's kind of a fancy restaurant. As someone who's been to Club 33, the food at Carthay I think is better than the food at Club 33. The experience at Carthay Circle is quality. Also at Carthay, they sometimes have like a World of Color package where if you eat there, you get a fast pass to World of Color and you don't have to like worry about getting that earlier in the day. They have packages like that for Fantasmic over at Disneyland. You can find out more information on Disneyland.com. For quick service in DCA, I like anything on the Pacific Wharf. That includes Cocina Cucamonga, Mexican food, Lucky Fortune Cookery, which is Chinese food, and the Pacific Wharf Bakery, which has bread bowls with soup or salads inside. All of that stuff is great. It's also very close to Cars Land, which has my favorite spot for snacks in all of DCA, the Cozy Cone Motel. This is a series of different cones that sell different things. Churros, ice cream, um, 
chili cones, popcorn, everything you want, all right there. And it's all really good. It's all really unique kind of compared to the rest of the park. So Cozy Cone Motel for snacks, definitely number one recommendation. And some of you might be interested in character dining. There's a lot of places you can have your meals with characters, but my favorite for dinner has to be Goofy's Kitchen at the Disneyland Hotel. You can take the monorail into downtown Disney or just walk through downtown Disney to get to the Disneyland Hotel and go to Goofy's Kitchen for dinner. They also do breakfast, but I prefer their dinner. For breakfast, I actually recommend the Storytellers Cafe, which is at the Grand Californian Hotel. It's a little bit cheaper and and it's just as good. It's with critters, you get Miko, you get the brother bear people, you get all the critters. Chip and Dale are there. It's great. I also have to mention my favorite place to get quick food in downtown Disney, which is Earl of Sandwich. The best dang sandwiches you'll ever have. Get the holiday sandwich, holiday turkey, tastes like Thanksgiving on a sandwich, it's so good. And finally, some other things that I think you shouldn't miss when you visit Disneyland are the Dapper Dance, Mickey and the Magical Map, which is a daytime show over in the Fantasyland Theater, and meeting characters. My favorite places to meet characters are either in Toontown, where you can meet Mickey Mouse in his house and Minnie Mouse in her house, probably meet all of them there. And the Royal Hall in Fantasy Fair where you can meet three princesses at once. So that is my general quick guide to what not to miss at Disneyland and DCA when you go to Disneyland Resort for the first time. You guys probably have your own favorites, so I really encourage you to leave it in the comments down below because these are just my favorites and things that you shouldn't miss. So leave a comment down below, share the knowledge for those of you who are, you know, going to Disneyland soon for the first time or for the first time in a long time. Let's all help each other out. Hope you enjoyed today's VEDA. Like I said, I did this video because one of you asked me to do it. So also in the comments down below, leave me more video ideas that you would like me to see during the month of April this year. Probably gonna do it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.